everyone i'm here to present to you a new open source project that i'm working so it's a open source project and a course that i'm developing to teach convolution neural network for developers so this project will be walking through a few important concepts to understand how cnn works so we are going to be playing a lot with deep learning but we'll be focused on the on the images and the convolution neural networks we are going to be starting this journey looking and how to manipulate images with NumPy and Python. So I'm going to be seeing how our Im images are represented in an array of colors. And I'll be doing some small transformations as well. And this will give a, a good understanding of what is the image and how to manipulate it. Then we're going to be looking at convolution itself. We're going to be playing with some kernel filters and seeing how we can extract features from an image and highlights important characteristics of this image that will help the our neural net to learn more about the images then you're going to be looking at how to implement from scratch a back propagation algorithm which it is used to in, in the neural nets by the frameworks like tensorflow and pychart and with this implementation, you're going to be learning everything that is behind a deep learning architecture. So we're going to be looking at some important concepts before you start the implementation. So for example, how dot product works, matrix multiplication. Then I'm going to be also seeing some derivative gradient and how that is used in their in the deep learning and model and how learning rates works, activation function. We're going to be looking at all, the, all that. And then we're gonna be building our neural net and put it for training with a, this data set of numbers. And we, everything here will help us to understand what is under the hood of deep, deep neural network frameworks. And then we're gonna do the same, implement, create the same model, but this time using PyTorch. Uh, and this way we'll be comparing our implementation with PyTorch. And when you working in professionally with so you're going to be understand what it's behind every step of the model creation. And then you're going to be looking at uh, playing specifically with convolution neural network. We're going to be building an image classification problem. And we will be looking at uh, some important concept and playing with, with PyTorch uh, to solve this problem of convolution. And Everything here will be very descriptive. We are going to be looking at some architectures as well. And then we are going to be uh, playing a specific, we are going to be developing a multitask model and with transfer learning. So it's very important technique to speed up the training process uh, and multitask. It's very, it's important when you have multitasks and you would uh, you don't want to and you will try to speed up things using the same model so for example here we're going to be using the same model to identify at uh, the gender and the race of a set of people based based on this data set then you are going to be looking at some image interpolation and play with auto encoders to achieve that so we're going to see how to uh, extract some feature map information about the the images and from there, we're going to be playing and create some interesting things like image interpolation, for example, going from, from the number one to number seven and how you get the intermediate part of it. And then you'll be using that to generate some numbers as well. And then you're going to be with, with, with those latent space, you can create some image search engine as well. So you give you one image you can get retrieve all the similar image in our data set for example here i'm passing the number seven and we are going to get all the number seven from our uh let's say library and then you're going to be looking at uh, guns and how we can use uh deep learning to generate uh fake images so that it's very realistic and uh, i think there is a lot of uh, valuable information here and this course and project is pretty unique so you don't see much uh, example focus on uh, convolution neural net from the uh, let's say from the very basic until advanced example i hope you guys enjoy and see you in the lectures